For centuries, science has been seeking the answers to the fundamental questions of life, replacing those once provided by myths and legends. Why is it worth trying to figure out where new species come from? That's the million dollar question. Science, and, and biology in particular, really drives the message home that we are just part of this billions of iterations of natural selection, this grand tapestry of life. Evolution and ecology have really helped us understand how life is interconnected. But that interconnectedness is at risk. Every time Uwe returns to the Solomons, he sees changes in its grand tapestry. Resource exploitation is disrupting the process of evolution that's been operating for thousands of years. And that exacts a heavy price. Not only in the loss of a single species of bird, but in the destruction of the fragile balance of the Solomons ecosystem. Even as scientists strive to understand the world around us, there grows a desire to experience a deep connection to nature and its mysteries. I think by understanding the sort of genesis of organic diversity, we understand more about beauty. We understand a little bit about the engines that that are sort of constantly humming underneath the things we love. Traditionally in the, in the Makira province, folks used the term figona to describe spirit. But over the years, um, it has become more of a word to describe something that is um, awe-inspiring. When I enter a rainforest, it has that unique smell that just really rings truth in me, and I smell it. It's that smell of moss and decay that really gives me the sense of, of, of where I came from. And then when you get to this forest, and when you see right when the sun is rising and sun is beaming through these emerald leaves, I mean, that to me is like, it's amazing. And that's kind of like, I guess that's my figona. Um, and I'm all teary now. <laughs> but, it's what keeps me kind of going back. 